Hey folks, welcome aboard the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' a Country. And we're doing a new artist to the channel today, Rick Trevino. And the name of the song, it's, it reminds me of John Moreland uh, a bit. She Can't Say I Didn't Cry. And I like that title. And this is requested by Easy45. So Easy, shout out to you. Thank you for this request. I don't know the song and I don't think I know Rick. So it's be new for me two ways. Ready. If she says I cost her, you can take her at her word. I know she's speaking from her heart. Si te dijo que mi amor me trajo un gran dolor, nunca lo podré. Nega, si te dijo que no le rogué cuando ella se fue, es cierto, apenas la miré. But she can't say I didn't cry, she can't say she didn't know how it tore me up inside, how it hurt to watch you go. Que te podrá contar, pero no podrá decir que no me dio llorar. Yep. Llorar means to cry in español. Si te dijo alguna vez que la decepcioné, por favor, le debes fe. That I made some mistakes That don't take away From just how much she meant to me yeah. Sé que te ha contado Muchas cosas de mí Pero hay algo que jamás quiso decir No te dijo que lloré No te habló de mi dolor no te dijo que quedé desolado con su adiós. There's a million things that she might say that I cannot deny. But she can't look me in the eye and say I didn't cry. That perspective it legitimizes it. I've cried. Hay millones de razones más que te podrá contar, pero no podrá decir yep. que no me dio llorar. I like that mixture of English and Spanish. I mean, and with the last name like Trevino, I mean, that could be uh, Latino. I mean, it sounds Latino too. So now I don't know if his name is Ricardo, maybe his birth name. And then, the, you know, he shortened it to Rick or the label shortened it to Rick. I'm not sure. But in any case, I mean, he speaks Spanish very, very well. You can't fake it like an accent like that, if you will, or the fluency uh, of that. And I love Spanish. I do. I mean, I. I took all throughout high school, and then I took like 12 credits at Rutgers. I, I love it. I mean, I just have to do it more. But I have a number, not only friends who are Latino, like my surrogate daughter is Mexican. And uh, my second mother growing up, Mexican. And friends of mine who teach Spanish. So I get a chance sometimes, but I'm rusty. Like I'm, but this is just so pretty, you know, but I like that twist of phrase. You can't say I didn't cry. Most guys don't want to admit that we cry, you know, like, I don't know. And, and nobody likes to cry because obviously that's just a sign that there's pain, unless it's like tears of joy. But I mean, I didn't like crying. 
you know, like I, I didn't, I don't cry that much now. Sometimes I do. When someone I love is hurting, for some reason at this point in my life, it just hurts me a lot more to know that they're hurting. But I mean, I don't cry that much, you know, just whatever it is. But the idea that you can't say I didn't cry. So there's no way that you could ever say I didn't really love you because, I, you know, you don't cry if you don't love somebody. It's pretty darn simple. So, all right, Easy 45. I'm going to rate this song. I, I love the mixture. And I love sort of like the challenge of seeing how much Spanish I remember, how much I could even discern because like the verb tensing in Spanish is different and it's uh, the conjugation of verbs. And, I'm, you know, it refreshes my, it resets my brain pretty quickly when I hear this. Maybe I'll listen to it again, but all right, very pretty song. I'm going to do an 8.6. That's what struck my brain. And that, so that's what I'm going to go with. It was a very pretty song, but I really do like just the English-Spanish thing. It's fun. I mean, I just, it's, and it's pretty, too. So there we go. All right, folks, have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. Yeah.